guys, today we're going to talk about the look command. Uh, we've subbed out Pedro for a real dog. This is Chai. Um, so he's going to help me teach you guys a little bit about the look command, why we love it, and how we use it. Um, so this is kind of the first command that we teach when we're teaching our puppy classes or when we're working with a new rescue or a dog that doesn't have a lot of cues. Um, the basic premise is that you're getting your dog's attention. So if your dog is about to go eat a chicken bone or jump out into the street, the look gets your dog's focus. It redirects them from what they're doing and gets their attention back on you. We use this for teaching a heel because your dog can't be that far ahead or that far behind while checking in with you. Uh, we use it for calling our dogs off of the door, from calling puppies away from chewing shoes or ripping up the carpet. Um, so it's just a really great multi-use command and it's kind of the beginning of anything else because if you can't get your dog's attention, it's really hard to teach them a new command after that. So when you're teaching your look command, it kind of has three different sections. There's your lure, uh, your marker that tells the dog they've done the behavior, and then the reward. So it kind of looks like this. You would lure from your dog's nose, chai, look, yes, and then come back down to deliver your treat. In the beginning, you might have noticed I have a treat in my hand. So when you're teaching a new dog a skill, uh, especially with a puppy that doesn't have great eyesight, you want the food in your hand so they're following the lure. Once you have an adult dog like Chai who understands the behavior, I can do it without a treat in my hand. So, look, yes, good boy, and come back down to deliver the food, which in this case was invisible. Um, when we're starting to use our look, we could use it to call our dog off of something. So say, for example, there's a bully stick on the ground just out of Chai's reach and he really wants it. Chai, off, look, yes, come, good boy. I can use it to call my dog off. And if he's done really well and I want to reward him and he can have that thing, it's not a chicken bone, it's not jumping out into the street, I can then let him go back and have it. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> um, good boy, Chai. Yes. Oh, good look. Good look. The other use for the look command would be for our walking skills. So I'll get that out of the way. As I was saying before, your dog can't be that far ahead or that far behind while they're in a look. So we love this to kind of teach the basics of our heel command. So if your dog is over here and I start walking, try look. Good boy. I have a really nice kind of walking heel. Now, if your dog cuts you off like this, which happens a lot with puppies, you want to make sure that when you deliver the treat for your look, so it's look, it's right here next to you. So your dog defaults to being in that spot. That's kind of how we use the look on our walk. That's why it's our number one command. And as you can see from when I called him off the uh, bully stick, it allows you to kind of turn it into a behavior chain where you can get your dog to do a couple behaviors. So it looks like, look, yes, good boy, sit. Good boy, oh, Chai, with your awkward legs. Remember that every dog learns differently. So we've got a couple of videos of us doing the look command with different dogs that we've seen in healthcare and around the store. You may notice that small dogs need to lure closer to their nose, whereas larger dogs that are already up here can just have a lure from the waist up. Um, so watch these videos and see which ways might work best for you and your dog. Kitty, look. Yes. Good. Blur from his nose. Yes, good. Oh, look. Yes. Oh, wow. Look. Yes. Cool. So now that you've learned the look command, um, feel free to hit us up with any questions in the comments section or send us a message. If you feel like you need some support with coaching, you can always reach out and tag us in any videos of you practicing with your new dog or with your old dog that needs a new skill.